Okay, so if you are having trouble with your Roomba on black carpet or carpet with some black in it and it's getting confused or getting stuck on that carpet, the reason is almost certainly because of its drop sensors or cliff sensors or edge sensors are sometimes called. Basically, they're the sensors that prevent your Roomba from going off a cliff or off the end of your stairs. In order to fix this, we're going to essentially disable those sensors and you do not want to do this if you do have a staircase or something that the Roomba could fall off or that the only reason it's not falling off is because of these sensors. Uh, but for everybody else, the way that you do that is actually with a piece of paper, some tape, and some scissors. And I'll show you what we're going to do. The reason why we're going to put tape on this uh, piece of paper on the front and back is because it needs to reflect these uh, the lights or lasers or whatever it is that's coming out of here. It needs to reflect back and so it needs to be glossy in order for it to work. So I'm going to cover this paper with uh, tape on both sides and I'll show you what to do. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut just a, a section of this paper out so it'll be easier to uh, work with. Uh, I don't want any of the tape that's hanging over the edges so I'm kind of trimming that off. And I'm left with my somewhat laminated uh, piece of paper here. So I'm going to cover these one, two, three, four, five, six sensors. This is on a Roomba 980. Most of them should be very similar to this. And we're going to cut uh, pieces that uh, are bigger than the entire hole there, but not too much bigger. And then we're going to tape them all to each of these pieces. All right, once you have your little bits of paper cut, uh, you can use any kind of tape here. You can use actually scotch tape or something a little thinner uh, to give you a little bit of uh, room there uh, to tape it on the Roomba, but I'm just gonna reuse this uh, packing tape. Okay, so a few things to note about this. Um, the places you're gonna have trouble with are gonna be these two front ones and this one on the side. Uh, for this one on the side, you basically are just wanting to make sure that it's not impeding uh, this brush right here. And you can see right now that this one is because I'm using this you know, large piece of tape. Uh, if I was doing this to, you know, to hopefully last a long time, I would take a you know, piece of small scotch tape and just and tape it on there much more perfectly. Uh, right now I wouldn't trust this to last very long because this brush will eventually uh, cause that to be a problem. Another thing you need to watch out for is your sensors here. You don't want to get any tape over the bump uh, sensors um, so make sure that's not happening. And then thirdly watch out for this swivel right here. Again you can see that there's an impeding of this wheel and that's no good. I would use a smaller piece of tape for right here and I will show you how to kind of trim this to where you're still not, the sensor's still covered, but the wheel is not being impeded. So it's really important to, um, to make sure of those two things. This wheel and this spinner and these sensors are not covered with the tape. Uh, but uh, if you're careful with all those things, this should last a long time if you do a good job and it will work. So thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe if you're interested in more troubleshooting and tips for the Roomba 980.